this lesson, you will learn how to integrate UFT Codeless test running out of a pipeline into ELM Octane. UFT Codeless is an automated testing solution for building robust mobile and web test and is used mainly for non-technical user without the need to write technical scripts and automate tests. Let's take a look on a sample UFT Codeless test. Here you can see a simple UFT Codeless test which launches a website, uh, Advantage Online Shopping. It uh, clicks on the profile and enters username, password and clicks on sign in. So it's not a really useful test, um, but still it will demonstrate how you can integrate um, UFT Codeless test into ELM Octane. So first of all, let's save this test. And I will save it. Let's say this is a new folder for Octane. And this is my login. Zero one. Okay, so this is my simple test, what I have just saved. And what I need to do now before I integrate this into a pipeline using Jenkins, um, I need to consume the command line tool which is provided with uh, UFT Codeless in order to see if I'm able to run the test uh, which I've created. So in the UFT installation folder, under the bin folder, you will find a batch file called Codeless Executor. .bat. And this allows you to run codeless tests without um, the need to open codeless uh, automation tool and um, then load the test and then execute. So you can run it via command line. And this is exactly what we are going to do in order to see if our test is able to run. Yeah. So first of all, what I need to do is I have here the different parameters I can pass by. So I need a test parameter with the full pass of my test um, in order to run it and then I, I have additional parameters in order to store for instance the result pass so let me write down here the pass of my test so I need to go to the Windows Explorer documents So under documents, I have created a folder for Octane just for demo purposes. And here, what I will do is I will just say, I want to run this test. So let's say codeless. And just the name of the test will allow me to run the test. And if I want to save the result path somewhere, so I can enter also the results path here and say I would like to save the result pass maybe on temp and let's say what do we have there under C temp maybe I have already a codeless result so I can save it here in codeless results so let's say here I would like to copy the pass and enter it here so this is basically what I want to do. I want to run the test, which is here the first one, the whole uh, pass. So you need to make sure that this is put in as a string. Yeah, so like this. And also for the result pass, make sure this is put into the quotes. And then hit. And this will now execute the test, which I have prepared. So you can see the browser has started and it should click on the profile icon and enter test test and click on the login button. So let's say it here you can see it clicked on this uh, profile button to log in and now it will enter here test and the password is test as well and it should click then on the sign in button and close the browser. 
Okay, so this looks good. The uh, test is running and also this, um, the results are stored. So let me check the results. I can see here the results are stored in to the specified path and I can open the result HTML as usual. It will show me the result of my test. Yeah, so this is just a simple test in order to run it from Octane um, using the pipelines. So let's go now into Jenkins in order to run and prepare uh, the pipeline execution. So I'm currently in my Jenkins um, and I will create now a new job. So let's go and do a simple freestyle job. Let's say this is codeless testing pipeline. Yeah, I'll skip pipeline. So this is okay. Say okay to add the job. And now, now what I need to do is I need to execute a Windows batch file in order to run the UFT codeless test. So I have copied it already from the command line execution. So you can see I'm navigating first of all into the UFT folder and then from there I execute the codeless executor batch file uh, and provide the test name and the result path. Yeah. And after I am done, I need to make sure that I move the result path to the right uh, location and um, make sure that the test cases which are executed, are the result are published as well. So I need a new uh, build step, execute Windows command, and here I paste exactly the place where I want to move everything which is in the result path to the workspace of my Jenkins um, of my Jenkins job and then uh, archive it yeah so from here I can now do publish JUnit result with the XML which is provided so codeless generates um, JUnit result which I can use to publish the results to Octane so basically that is it let me save it here and now, as a next step, I need to integrate this into my pipelines module. So let me go to the pipelines module. Add a new pipeline. And here I select my correct Jenkins server. Then also the job I want to run from Octane. And then I can assign additional attributes if I want. I don't want it for now. So let's say I save it here and now I can run it directly from Octane. So let's run it from here and let's take a look here into the environment where codeless should possibly start. We can see something is happening. So the browser is launching. It is navigating to the advantage online shopping.com and here it should launch the login form and enter the data and close the browser again and this is a very simple way to integrate codeless test into ALM Octane pipelines module and you can integrate it basically into any pipeline um, using the command line tool we provide with codeless and um, make sure it is part of your CI execution. So those results are executed and let's go back into Octane. So I can see the results are popping in here. So the login test exactly the way I have uh, written it is in Octane and I can see here um, also the execution run as well as the automated test which has been now pulled into Octane and I can basically now do the backlog coverage what I want I can um, link it with a requirement or a manual test um, assign it to a application module and that's it so this is a simple way how you can integrate your codeless test into um, into a CI server using the command line tool and then from the CI server you can integrate it into ALM Octane's pipelines module.